how to avoid appliance buying disasters. Uh, this may take a while. So what do you got? Well, so, what's, what's, what's first on your mind? So how we like to do, let's break this down into segments. First, let's talk about in the appliance stores, how are the salespeople actually paid and what to look for? Well, here's the thing. Like if you go and buy an appliance, an unknown brand for a lot of money, you should have a very sinking feeling like that you were just sold something you probably shouldn't have bought. And the reason is in our industry, and this is, I think, just our industry, there's what's called spiffs or incentives, manufacturers. And the unknown brands are known to like spiff or incentivize directly a salesperson, like 500 bucks a grand mm -hmm. for, um, for, for really selling something that you probably shouldn't buy. Now, now we service what we sell. So we only carry 19 brands because we only service faithfully 19. It's really hard. Um, our local competitor right in Hanover has got 74 brands, right? Now, the way we compensate is it's simple. We, we pay a commission, but only on the reliable stuff that we sell. And they have to sell that cleanly or they don't really get it. Um, so that's the way we do it. Um, but you got to be very mindful, especially if you're buying really these odd brands for a lot of money there there is odd, there's a reason why um so just be careful uh, as always i always say check reviews and ratings on yeah. stores products ask your neighbors you know be informed um just don't go to a store and buy what they tell you unless you're uh, uh, unless you're forewarned with the information you need to make that decision that's what i think yeah, and that's the big thing too. You know, you talk about service, and we're going to get more into that later. But that's the big thing. You, you know, we try to avoid having the brand be the one that's dictating what the salesperson should be selling. And yeah. for us, it really comes down to that reliability, the brands that we feel confident. Not to say that they're never going to break or anything like that. No, they're going to Nothing's break. perfect. Not, they're going. But to, we know the support. They're going to break less. They're going to break less. <laughs> exactly. And the support will be better when, when, when there is a problem. Absolutely. But yeah. So, so, so really, just be careful of that. I mean. You know, commission good. That's the way salespeople are paid. Spiffing on on products you shouldn't buy is is a real problem in our industry. So just just be mindful of that. Definitely. Next, let's talk about delivery. So delivery is always this hot topic, and you see, you know, the, the national guys and things like that always talking about oh, free delivery. You they know, don't it's do free that. delivery. They don't, they don't do that anymore. Yeah. So yeah. that's the big thing with delivery. It's it's. It's really a lot of the details when it comes down to appliances because you're not just delivering a box. And it's so critical to have a really good delivery experience to know one, who's delivering the appliance. Is it, is it a third party? Is it that company? How's that coordinated? Everything from do they bring it up and put it in front of the hole? Do they take away the trash? Do they take away the old appliance? What is included for installation? There's a lot of detailed questions that you need to make sure you're asking with that. It's like, it's like, it's like buying a, an airline ticket, right? You bought it at the lowest price in kayak, and then you get like, well, you get bags, mm -hmm. right? You know, you get bag fees. You've got, you know, they're charging for uh, what? For water, peanuts, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, pretty much everything. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's the way it is in, in delivery is they'll say free delivery and free. And, and, and you should go for that if it's you're just dropping it on the curb. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, the nationals and the, there's nothing wrong with free delivery and there's nothing wrong with Home Depot, Lowe's, Best Buy. Uh, you know, we compete with them all the time. But it's 50 bucks a piece for, uh, for removals yeah. now. And then stairs, um, yeah. you know, uh, some of the local guys got to worry about water damage and insurance. You know, who's going to pay for that? If it's going on your workman's, if it's going on your homeowner's insurance, it's a lot of money. Now, we did free, free delivery. I want to say we, we stopped that about 15 years ago because we realized we needed a, a professional delivery person. Someone who's not going to scratch your floors. Um, someone who can go up steps. Someone can go in Beacon Hill or narrow narrow doors and everything else. Someone who can take the doors off. Someone knows between gas and electric. Someone that won't flood mm -hmm. your home. And, and you've got to really be mindful of who is going in your store. Now we do Corey's inspections. Yeah. So we run every name through the criminal uh, registry in, in Massachusetts. And you just have to be careful of, of who's in your house and what the actual charges are. Because free isn't free. I mean. When you talk about all the additional charges, you could pay three, three fifty, four hundred dollars. You see, yeah, for delivery and more for multiples. So you want to compare apples to apples. We've got a a delivery uh, checklist 
they can download off our website where you can compare all the stores and it's it's pretty easy, but be very mindful of that. Definitely, and, and with delivery too, and this is gonna lead a little bit to our, our next topic, but you need to know what the delivery team is actually installing because with these appliances, it's not as simple as just kind of dropping it in yeah. and it's working. So it's really important to make sure yeah. you're asking that question, okay, what happens on the delivery? Does the refrigerator get hooked up to the existing water line? <laughs> is the laundry being hooked up to the water connection and the dryer being mm. connected if it's electric? Because I can tell you, you know, if it's a gas appliance, if it's a built-in appliance like a wall, those will not be installed by any delivery team. So those are definitely important critical questions that you need to ask there, which now leads us to our next topic. So next, let's talk about installation. You know, there's, there's a, uh, I was reading a LinkedIn post. Uh, one of our, our ex-service manager opened his own installation company and uh, great guy. And he, he, um, he put on his LinkedIn profile that he installed one of the new six drawer Thermador Pro refrigerators. And so, so we asked him how long did it take. Now, this is a qualified installer that we trained eight hours to install yeah. a refrigerator. And when asked, you know, the, the Thermador installer said it doesn't take eight, it takes six. And that's all he <laughs> does, right? But installation is, 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 uh, is not easy for a lot of appliances, especially refrigerators. Yeah. You know, we charge 99 for Sub-Zero only because we had to go back so many times to mm -hmm. fix to fix these issues, it's not it's not as easy as like putting a frame uh, a frame on a door and just like the old days. Uh, a lot of these things are very complicated, and a lot of the GCs are pushing back because they become so esoteric and so complicated. No one knows who's installing what. You know, the other thing is uh, you got to be very mindful in installation. You know, we're very careful with water, especially when we go in these towers. Yeah. What we do, and what you should do, because no many not many stores do this is get some laminated paper and and put it under like a dishwasher or washer. So if you see any, you can pull it out. If you see any water, you can get the guys back. But insulation is a huge problem. Uh, just not even water, but just built-ins. I mean, everything's become so advanced that nobody knows really how to do it anymore. So it's very important, you know, if you're if you're doing a new renovation to, to make sure your contractor's doing it or making sure your appliance store is doing it or making sure you have to sub it because um, if it's not clarified, it's going to get the balls. That ball is going to get dropped. Definitely, and, and and it's asking those questions like, you know, who does the install? So if that retailer is offering install, is it their people? Is it a third party? Now, if it's a third party, how does that get coordinated? Does delivery come, and then you got to call the installer? Do they come at the same time? How does that work? If there's damage in the home, or if there's damage who's to an appliance, who's responsible? If it's a third party. All those things that you really don't think to ask, but those are the ones that really make or break that final experience in the end when there is a problem. And inevitably, you know, nobody wants it, but problems definitely do arise with projects. And, you know, it's how you respond to those for sure. Mm. So next, and maybe, well, they're all important, but service. How critical is service of the appliance? Well, if you're in a, if you've got a family of five and your washer isn't working, I'd say that's fairly critical. Yeah. You know, if it's Thanksgiving and your stove doesn't work, I'd say that's fairly mm -hmm. critical. So put yourself in that situation. We always tell people, you know, you may want to try out your stove, don't self clean, you know, yeah. six weeks beforehand, all that sort of thing. But service is, is, is the problem. And it's a problem everywhere. You can't find a plumber, electrician these days. Um, you know, we have 36 service techs. We could use another 20. I, we could we could use another 20. Definitely. Right? Um, because we don't do any, we don't only service what we sell. I'd love to service other people. I think it'd be good, mm -hmm. you know, customer acquisition. But you're probably on your own on this one. Uh, none of the, none of the uh, major stores do it. Most of the retailers don't do it. You know, back in, back in my day, there was auto shop in high school and there was technical training. There's no more technical training, so you have to build service techs so and nobody's really doing that. So... My best advice to someone is, once again, is go to reviews, ratings, stores. Um, you know, if someone says, well, we third party, we call this guy, the 1-800 number, call the 1-800 number, say you have like a, a problem with the, the, the range that you just bought and see how long it's going to take to get it fixed. But um, this is a problem and this, is, this has got to be part of your appliance buying decision, right? It, you know, most people will, 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 
will have a problem, you know, do I get Thermidor, do I get Mila, do I get Sub-Zero? Well, one of the answers to that, who's got the better s support in your area? And it all differs. Um, you know, Boston's gonna be different from LA, LA is mm -hmm. gonna be different from say Chicago, Chicago's gonna be different from Dallas. It's up to you to find out what's best in your area. Um, but it's, it, this is a short conversation because you're probably gonna have problems. Yeah, and then in tandem kind of with service is warranties. And you know, just because a retailer may offer extended warranties certainly does not mean that they are the ones servicing it. So the warranties are really critical that if you're looking at those, to again, ask those questions. Well, who services it? Who do I call to get an appointment? Who comes out to my house? Because a lot of those times, those are really just paper warranties for most of these companies. It's like them selling a product. They don't service it. You call some 1-800 number. They're sending really anybody that's willing to take that job at the lowest fee. It's, a, it's not a warranty that you'd get from a self-servicing dealer. I wouldn't, even self-servicing dealers, if they third party, you yeah. have the same experience. Um, you know, because you have to account for that if you bring it in house, it's like having insurance. But yeah, extended warranties I wouldn't buy, even though you should. We didn't sell extended warranties for like, well, I've been here for almost 40 years, for probably the first 25 mm -hmm. years I was here because you bought a Maytag machine, it lasted 18 years, why would I sell you a five-year warranty on something that's gonna last you 18 years? But now you get French door refrigerators with ice in the door. Here's a hint, ice cube in a warm refrigerator, don't work. Um, you know, some of the pro ranges are gonna have igniter issues. So there's certain things where a five-year warranty actually makes sense, but it doesn't make sense unless there's someone that's gonna fix the problem that's probably gonna happen. And unfortunately, this goes to service. There, there isn't many people that are actually gonna fix it. So I'd be very careful with buying extended warranties. You know, Allstate, I think this is uh, I think this is really interesting to see Allstate finally doing it, but I don't think, or in, or in State Farm too, is it State Farm or Allstate? I think State Farm, I don't think mm -hmm. Jake from State Farm <laughs> is gonna put his wrench in his pocket and fix the uh, fix the stove. I don't think. I doubt I, it. I, I, think it's, I think it's sad because now you need an extended warranty on certain things and, and once you get into trouble, no one's gonna be there to help you, so. All right, so I think that's definitely the, the that's some of the, the most important yeah. categories for you know, sure. How much time do we all have here? <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, it's amazing anything gets done. We can talk about communication between departments definitely. and all that stuff. But you know, once again, your best protection is is really is really the work you do before you buy. Um, quite honestly, is, is check reviews, ratings, speak to your neighbors and um, and other professionals, and and really do your due diligence before you make you know, what is really a significant purchase. You know, we, we laugh about, you know, Thanksgiving being ruined, but it's it's not funny if you're planning it. So anyway, if you like these ranking reviews, please hit the subscribe button and thank you very much for watching.